Hello everyone and welcome back to Missile Dine Online Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Critical Mode on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode, we left Twilight Town. For the first time, really, we completed everything we could do. We met Yin Sid and we got a badass new outfit. In this oh, episode, baby. we are going to arrive in the first world that we can, which is this one. Hollow Bastion. You may remember this from Kingdom Hearts 1, where we defeated Maleficent, Riku, we sealed the world, we found out that Leon, Yuffie, Aerith, they were all from this world. Let's go right now. Land in Hollow Bastion. Level 8, battle level. Maleficent! Maleficent! Maybe they really did finish her off. Ooh, this castle sure ain't what I expected. No shine, no nothing. Oh, now what's gonna happen to our plan? It's Hollow Bastion. Gorge looks kind of different now. I hope you are in the dead of doing okay. Uh oh, looks like we're gonna have to do some fighting. Sounds good to me. Welcome everybody to Hollow Bastion. Oh, this is cool. It looks to me like they're actually taking apart the castle probably using it to rebuild their town. I dig that. So right over here, really importantly, we can grab this, which is another one of those puzzle pieces that we found over right after we got the Valor form. Those puzzle pieces, pretty important to pick up when you see them. Now we can see another one off in the distance right there, but it doesn't totally matter. You can't really use it. There's no items over here. This is a item uh, accessory shop, although he doesn't really have anything. The only thing that he actually has right now is the ability ring, which we don't really care about. Right here, we can go ahead and talk to Wedge's Armor Shop, who has a shadow anklet, which is actually new. You can pick that up if you want. I just don't really think it's necessary, so we're not going to pick it up for now. It's just not useful. We don't really need that dark resistance. Right here, he's going to sell the same weapons that we already have, which is the hammer staff and the adamant shield. Right over here is a new thing. Talk to Moogles in towns. They can synthesize items with various materials. So, uh, you can't do much synthesizing right now, so let's just go ahead and do this. We will hand over all of our materials, and we will get an elixir for completing the collection. Not a big deal, but I figured I'd show you that. We'll get more into synthesizing later on. Now, we can't actually jump up here to grab this puzzle piece. You could go ahead and talk to, uh, I think this is, I think this is Louie. Um, he's not really gonna have any items for you to grab. But, right here, who's this, I wonder? Uncle Scrooge? Uh, who? Hey, he's Donald's uncle, a business typhoon. Before the Heartless showed up, he traveled the world on a gummy ship with the king. He was helping to set up a traffic system. A transit system. What's all the racket? Why, if it isn't Donald and Goofy, hello, lads. Ah, you all look hale and hearty. So do you, Uncle Scrooge. Ah, if only I were. I cannot seem to recreate my favorite old-time ice cream. I'd make millions if I just got it right. Scrooge McDuck, everybody! Terrible. He is trying to create sea salt ice cream. Now we can go ahead and talk to him. Leon and the others are in the burrow. They went to Merlin's house. Ooh, this shop is actually a giant refrigerator. Well, good to know. You can talk to this ice if you want. Examine it, I should say. Looks like it'll make some good ice cream. Hmm. Hmm. Now you can't actually hop onto any of these things, but we can go ahead and head down here. Oh. Oh. Hey, what's going on? That's the town's defense mechanism. 
It's Yuffie! Yuffie! Look out! Looks like we got some nobodies. Defeat the nobodies. You got it. You got it, little information system. All right, so we're going to go ahead, reversal as much as we can. Now, this defense system is actually going to work for us to kind of, you know, help us kill these things a little bit, do some damage to them. We should be able to eradicate these things. At oh, and we have a new enemy. This is called a samurai. If you can get a reaction command with them, you can actually do a fate duel, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, I can show you one of those when we actually, when it comes up, but that is a new type of nobody. Hey, you guys. I see you're still in top form. What'd you expect? Looks like you're doing okay. Well, what did you expect? I want the others. Great! Hey, Yuffie. Have you seen the King and Riku? Nope. But I had a feeling I'd see you guys again. We may never meet again. But we'll never forget each other. Is that supposed to be Leon? <laughs> Everybody's working on stuff over at Merlin's house. Come on! Oh, she even runs like Yuffie from Final Fantasy VII. I love it! I love it! Marketplace map. So what's exciting is that they remember us. We remember them. No longer is it Chain of Memory style where nobody remembers us and we don't really remember them either. This time, we actually do. Now, we can go ahead and destroy these. Oh, we got a Dark Shard. Great. That's another item that is used for synthesizing. We were able to take down those soldiers pretty easily. Now, there is some items that we can actually grab here that we should grab anyways. Because we can. Not a huge deal, but it's worth it. Right here, we get an AP boost. I'm not going to use that right now. Obviously, this crane is being used to rebuild this town. All right. So, it looks like I'm right. All right. And then we're going to be ambushed by more Heartless, which is fine because it's soldiers and like and shadows and and we can just we can just we can just destroy them especially with the defense matrix working easy peasy but we need to defeat oh there's even more of them that's actually good for us though because oh donald leveled up in case you in case you didn't see that in case for whatever reason you missed it all right oh come on oh come on oh we got another dark shard perfect right here we can grab an item which is going to be none other than drive recovery i wonder what that is hmm Right over here is another chest that we can grab now. There is a couple more puzzle pieces that we actually probably can't get right now. But you'll see it. Right there we were able to get a mithril shard. Oh, we can. We can easily grab this. Hang on. We just need to run around. We just need to run around. Like that Jason Hanford song. Han Han Hanover song. Right there we'll grab another awakening puzzle piece. And then, if I'm not entirely mistaken... Nope, it looks like we're not going to be able to grab that. Oh, no. That's fine. This is where we needed to go anyways. So we were able to get one of those, but not really both. And then we can go ahead and grab this piece, which is a dark shard. Yet again, that is needed for the one and only synthesizing that we can't really totally do just yet. And there's some more shadows that we can go ahead and defeat. Why not? Easy peasy. This house is actually pretty important. This one right in front of us? Yeah, pretty important. We'll go ahead and defeat as many Heartless as we can, because we don't really need them around. And the extra experience is really good right now. Uh, we don't really have any really tough challenges coming up, so it's worth doing while we can. Right here, we can grab this item, which is going to be a high potion. Now, I do want to go ahead and check something real quick. If I'm not mistaken, we can't go any further. Like, we can't go check out any additional areas, which is actually fine. Uh, this is obviously a place that you can jump to get to. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, we can't actually head down here yet. Yeah, this isn't the way to Merlin's house. I just wanted to make sure that was true. It looks like we can't get that other puzzle piece yet, so keep that in mind. Remember its location. I promise we will get there. We will get there, folks. So let's head into Merlin's house. Meet the Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee. We missed you. Well, if you ain't in top shape... I knew it. Knew what? A while back, everyone suddenly remembered you guys, all at the same time. You remembered? Wait, does that mean you forgot about us? Ouch! So where have you guys been all this time? We were sleeping. Where? In cold storage? 
It doesn't matter. This is great. Everyone's together again. So, um, we're trying to find Riku and the King. Have you seen him? Right. Sorry, but let us know if there's anything we can do to help, okay? Okay, thanks. Don't go thanking us just yet. Hollow Bastion's got a problem. A big problem. You mean, like, nobodies? And heartless? That's right! Sounds like you could use our help. Then let's cut to the chase. Sora, Donald, Goofy, we were hoping the three of you might give us a hand around here. Like we're gonna say no? Hmm. I forgot who I'm dealing with. Hey, what do you mean by that? Just think of it as a sort of Leon compliment. Follow me to the Bailey. There's something you need to see. Oh, I thought it was you. Right on time. It's Ryan! Sora and the gang said they're gonna help out. Splendid. We'll count on you. Right. 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 Ah, yes. Did you give them cards, dear? Oh. Here, they're presents for you. Leon thought you might like to have them. Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee Honorary Member. That was your plans. Kinda cool, huh? Hey, thanks, Leon. Huh? Oh no, we're supposed to be at the Bailey. That was a weird cutscene. Just a moment, Sora, what about your magic? Huh? Oh, that's right. Maybe you forgot it while you were asleep. Now what am I to do with you? I suppose I'll have to lend you a few spells, but be careful with them. Lend me? Like, do we give them back to you? To the Bailey, and fast. So we will get the membership card, a membership card of Hollow Bastion. I guess they thought that was cool. I don't know, but more importantly, we will be able to cast Blizzard now, which is going to be super useful in a future world. A magic command has been added. Consume MP from the gauge in the bottom right to use that. Press L1 for the shortcut commands, uh, and it'll be restored at any save point that we find in the game, blah, blah, blah. Not a big deal. So if you noticed, Leon's voice actor changed, and also something that I think is really weird, is his face also changed. Right there, we can grab another awakening puzzle, which is perfect for us. It's so weird to me that his face changes from like PS2 graphics to PlayStation 4. It's so strange. If you go to the right from here and climb the stairs, you'll arrive at the Bailey. That's exactly where we were trying to go. Look at Merlin's shop. You might remember Merlin's shop from before. Well, now it's here in Hollow Bastion, so it appears that Merlin is also from here. Seems your clothes are, des are designed to gather energy. In that case, don't hold back since your magic will recover with time. Right here, we can find this book details the spells. Right here looks like, hmm, those pots on top. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Figure it out later. We can talk to Sid. Have you seen the town's defense devices? They're called claymores. They're not as powerful as you, but depending on how you use them, they can be really helpful. Leon went to the Bailey. Don't make him wait too long. Let's go ahead and save real quick. All right, let's head to the Bailey. Well, I guess to the burrow. No Heartless are going to attack us right now, I believe. I'm pretty sure we've cleared them out, so we don't have to worry about, you know, any any Heartless jumping on us. But right up here is a super important thing, and that is the one, the only, the Bailey. This is where we need to go, man. Look at that. Holy hell. We want to restore Hollow Bastion to what it used to be. Who knows? Maybe even something better. There's still a lot to do. But I'm sure we can handle everything. Except... for that? 
and that. We'll handle them. Well, that's good to hear. So, Sora, do you know what's going on then? There's this guy, Pete, who's been going around plotting with the Heartless. But he's not smart enough to tie his own shoes. The ones we need to worry about are the nobodies. And those Organization 13 guys in charge, too. You called? You're doing well. Who's that? This calls for a celebration. So this fight is going to be a little challenging, guys, because we need to defeat all the nobodies while protecting the gates. That doesn't sound that hard, but these gates will take damage, and there will be a lot of nobodies that will be coming in here. So already they were able to get attack in. We did get a level there, so our, our defense went up, which is, as I've said many times before, that is something that is really, really, really good for Sora, especially on critical mode, because enemies do so much damage to us. So much damage. Now, you're going to be fighting a lot of Dusk, and you will be fighting a lot of the new enemies, which are the Samurai. Pay attention, because if you are able to get a reaction command from them, which is the uh, the dual stance reaction command, you will be able to end them in one shot with the end. However, if you aren't able to and they hit you, odds are, if you're low on health, they'll kill you in one shot on critical. Now, it does look like Goofy also leveled up, which is good for us. Now, we're going to see if we can stop them from doing this. All you have to do is hit them, and they'll, they'll basically stop what they're doing. Uh, this one, oh... And, as you can see... Oh, did I not get a potion out? Alright, we gotta stay on top of this as much as possible. Those Samurais do do a ton of damage, especially if you're... Now, I was almost able to do that reaction command, but not quite. We need to take care of these guys as, as soon as possible, but just because the Samurais do so much damage. Seriously, like, they can, they can, they can take you down from full to nothing in a second. This might be the last samurai, and there we go, Sora learned the fire element. The Keyblade, a truly marvelous weapon. Were it only in more capable hands. <laughs> <laughs> Show yourselves! <laughs> Organization 13! Good, now we can settle this. What a shame. And here I thought we could be friends. <laughs> What's the big idea? Oopsie daisy. Move! Now, do you think that's polite, shutting me down like that? I said get out of the way! As if. You can talk all you want, but that won't change a thing. Then we are gonna make you move! See, that would work, if I were just any old dude. Except I'm not. I'm with the organization. Nothing any old about me. Huh. Tough talk for someone who stood on the sidelines while his nobody flunkies did the fighting. Oh dear. I think you got the wrong impression. You gonna cry? As if. Why don't I remind you how tough the crowd you're dealing with really is? Remind me? <laughs> <laughs> That's right! You used to give me that same exact look. I guess you think you can psych me out by saying really random stuff. Gee, I just don't know.
Be a good boy now. Wait! What? He got away. That was weird. Who gave him the same look? You know, I think he was just trying to confuse you. Yeah, you're right. Only one me. The Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee Honorary Member. <laughs> wow! Huh? What's this? Gorsh, you think? Now I get it. That must have been the gate Yen Sid talked about. Oh boy! Sorry to run, Leon. But other worlds are calling. Organization 13. They look tough. Be careful out there. See you soon. We just opened our way to a new world and got the secret Ansem report number seven. Looks like Organization 13 is up to no good. Do my eyes deceive me? Does he really have the power to wield the Keyblade? He is nothing but a boy. Give him a chance. It means he's straight as an arrow. He's pure of heart. Unlike all of us here. He had better be, or else he's worthless. I truly hope he's enjoying himself on his adventure. <laughs> Maybe he'd like a hand to determine his fate. Hey, as long as it works in our favor, we can let him do what he wants for now. Then we'll all jump in if needed. Those are bold words coming from you. Are you saying you'll volunteer to take care of it if things go wrong? Huh? What? M me? No, you have the wrong guy. I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> you act as though you have a conscience. When was the last time any one of us felt anything? Truer words were never spoken. Well, I suppose the fun will have to wait. Do you know what happens to those who lose their true purpose? Inevitably, they destroy themselves. Gentlemen. The hero of the Keyblade has embarked on a new adventure. Make sure it is one he will remember. Now go. I only count six Organization 13 members. Just throwing it out there, man. Just throwing it out there. All right. So we just unlocked the path to two new worlds, but we cannot go back to Twilight Town. I don't know. It's gone. It's gone. We can't go back. Use the left stick to fly the gummy ship. Blah, blah, blah. You can't land on worlds not con connected by gummy roots. So we could go to any one of these doors to head to, ooh, whatever this world is. And whatever this world is, I wonder. So Stardust Sweep, Asteroid Sweep, those are levels. We're going to go back to Hollow Bastion because there's something that I really, really want to show you guys. So now that we are back at Merlin's house, the load times are so fast on the PlayStation 4, guys. You can go ahead and kill these dudes if you want. Although, I'm not really worried about that. Instead, I'm going to show you guys something else. We're going to continue. We're going to run right past these guys because we are going to do something... Uh, that involves leveling our drive gauge, our valor form, which is super, super important in this guy, in this game, guys. You want to make sure that you have that up as much as you can. So we're going to head here to the Bailey because there is some things that we can grab here. 
We'll go this way. We'll defeat these guys. Now, I, I would attack, but I'm not going to do that just yet. We did pick up some items, some, a bunch of dark shards. We also got a bright shard, which is super cool, uh, and a dark shard. Looks like we can grab this puzzle piece over here. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. This should be, if I'm not mistaken, two sides. Du duality puzzle piece. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. There is some Heartless up here that we can kill. Now, this is something that's kind of interesting. This is, this is something that's kind of interesting. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use Valor Form. And then we're just going to go ahead, and this is finally Valor Form. You can see how fast we are with this. We are, we are like lightning, dude. We're so fast. So we just got our, uh, we leveled up yet again. So our strength increased. You'll notice that when we use this, uh, Goofy actually disappeared. Now we want to go and we want to do this. Now you can use Square to do this. Uh, you can use your circle to, to jump really high. We want to go back to the burrow. This is really important, guys. We want to go back to the burrow. Come over here. Kill these guys as fast as you can. We want to head into Merlin's house. Let's see if we can do this real quick, guys. We want to go in here. Go to Merlin's house. And then we want to use this. Save. Go to the world map. Yes. Now we want to go back. You guys are, you guys are going to like this. Our drive gauge is completely full now. You can literally keep doing this over and over and over. You can get these Heartless, you can do whatever you want, and you can keep doing this so that you can level your gauge as fast as possible, which is beautiful. This is something that is so handy, guys, and I recommend you do this until at least you get high jump level two, which is something that is pretty darn cool. So you basically do this until you're at about one. You can come up here, fight these guys too. Again, because you're in Valor form too, you're going to be absolutely demolish demolishing these. Now, I'm going to see if we can do this. I might have actually have overstayed my welcome here. It looks like we're probably going to lose our drive gauge here. Maybe not, because our zero is going to... We have zero, of course. So let's go ahead, go to our world map. And if I'm not mistaken, this should stay. It should stay when we land. Yes, so we have our full drive gauge. I recommend not using it, though, until you're in the Bailey, uh, just because there's more XP there that you can grab. So just keep doing this and get your your uh, your stuff all the way up, and I'll show you as soon as we do. All right, we got our Valor form up to level 3. Now you can see that we can actually jump and kind of float for a second, which is really, really cool. Uh, so I want to go ahead and show you this real quick, because this is actually really important to be able to get the next puzzle piece that was sitting here in the burrow. You can get it as early as now, uh, basically because you can do this, and then you can you can fly up, oop, that's not what I wanted to do at all, and then grab it, just like that. And we were able to get the Sunset Plaza. And you can just go ahead and leave at any time, because that is all that you can do now in Hollow Bastion. We literally got everything that we can possibly get, so let's go ahead and leave Hollow Bastion. With a powerful, powerful Valor Gauge, we can now head over to this world by going through Asteroid Sweep, which we will do in the next part. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and save the game. I really, really appreciate you guys watching this series. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it, to be totally honest with you. This game, the combat is so smooth on the PS4 right now, and it feels so, so good. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to drop a like if you guys are really, really enjoying the uh, the series. It lets me know that you guys love it. It lets me kind of get the motivation to keep uploading daily with these. Really appreciate it. In the next episode, we're going to tackle the Land of Dragons. Thank you for watching. Right now, showing up on screen is a playlist that you can click, a video that YouTube has chosen specifically for you, and, of course, a Patreon button if you want to support the channel monetarily. It just kind of helps me produce these videos as quickly as possible and put as much work as I can into them. Thank you for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the darkness.